This video explains how to round all values in a matrix object using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the example matrix that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new matrix called MET is appearing at the top right. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that we have created a matrix containing six rows and five columns. And all of these values in the matrix contain random numeric values with many digits. So let's assume that we want to round these values in our matrix. Then we can apply the round function to our matrix, as you can see in line six of the code. And in this case, I'm also storing the output of the round function in a new matrix object that I'm calling matround1. So after running this line of code, a new matrix object is appearing at the top right, which is called matround1. And we can print this updated matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have rounded all the values in our matrix to zero digits. So in other words, there are no values on the right side of the decimal points. We may also keep a certain number of digits when we apply the round function. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in line nine of the code. So in this case, I'm once again applying the round function to our matrix. However, this time I'm also specifying the digits argument. And in this case, I'm setting this argument to be equal to the value two. And then I'm storing the output of this in another matrix object that I'm calling met round two. So after running line nine of the code, this new matrix is appearing at the top right. And if we print it to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that we have created another version of our matrix where the values in the matrix have been rounded with two digits. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.